Warumi. Hiya, I'm artist Liam Benson. I live and work on Darug Country. To start, let's close our eyes and notice everything that's around us. What can you hear, feel, smell, see, and even taste around you? Keeping our eyes closed, with one hand, let's draw these things in the palm of our other hand. These are all part of the memory of the country we are living on. Take a moment to acknowledge where you are as we pay our respects to elders of the past, present and emerging. I extend that respect to any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islands people with me today. This tutorial is proudly supported by Blacktown Arts Centre for Colour Me Queer, a celebration of diverse LGBTQI plus people in Blacktown and Western Sydney. In this video, we're going to make a headpiece. Way back when I started learning about drag, my drag mother gave me an old headpiece, which was handed down by her drag mother. So I took it apart to see how it was made, and as a result, I've been making headpieces ever since. And so now it's your turn. But first I'm gonna take you through some construction basics, and then we're gonna play a creative design game. I love making headpieces because it continues a practice of unique costume creation. Headpieces frame your face and alter your proportions. They're a great way to create height and volume, adding texture, colour and movement to your costume. I always think of a headpiece as a wearable version of what's inside, who you are. And it's a bit like your thoughts are taking a physical form on the top of your head. Guideline number one. There's no right or wrong way to make a headpiece. The best thing you can do is collect what you want to work with and experiment. But here's a few tips to get you started. It's helpful to begin with a base. And there's a bunch of ways you can do this. You can use headbands, an old hat, and think creatively. Don't be afraid to use unconventional materials. Because once you cover it with decoration, no one will ever know your headpiece was once a plastic colander. Next is shape and structure. A simple way to add shape and structure to your headpiece is by using something firm, which you can cut into shapes. For example, cardboard strengthened by covering it with fabric, stiffened felt, which you can sew decoration and fabric onto, or maybe even recycled plastic sheets, which will also hold their shape. Here are some construction methods. I often use a hot glue gun. It's quick to use and it holds well. You can also use fabric glue. If you have strong needles and thread, you can sew your headpiece together. This takes time, but it will be strong and flexible. And hey, you can always pin your headpiece together. It might not last forever, but it'll hold for tonight. And now for the fun part, decoration. Collect and gather materials that you love or that are special to you. It might be fabric in a fantastic colour. Feathers, beads, sequins, shells, interesting recycled textures or materials that you have a special connection with. Finding these materials is part of the fun, so enjoy the process as you build your personal bowerbird nest of fantastic materials. Okay, let's play our creative design game. This will help you design a headpiece that's right for you, and so you'll have a kind of rough draft before you make the final masterpiece. For this design game, you can use recycled materials from around the house. For instance, cardboard, wrapping paper, or other decorative materials you might have lying around. Today I'm working with coloured paper, cardboard, and a headband. If you don't have a headband, use some strong cardboard, plastic, or fabric to create a base that fits your crown. Play around with your materials, and create a base that fits well for you. For the shape and structure, cut the strongest cardboard, plastic or fabric you have into a large shape. For example, a diamond, a heart shape or something more abstract. There's no right or wrong. Now with your other materials, let's experiment to create some decoration. Spend some time playing around with what you have. Make five different experiments with your materials. This might be cutting small pieces, folding, connecting, or a combination of the above. Choose your favorite experiment and repeat it as many times as you can. 
take a look at what you've created. Once again, perhaps you can make five different arrangements and designs and then choose your favorite. Whether it's sticky tape, glue or staples, attach your design to the shapes that you created earlier and start to bring your headpiece together. During the process, take a moment to try your headpiece on and make adjustments as you go. That way, your headpiece will fit you perfectly. Once you finish your headpiece, try it on and spend some time wearing it. Notice how you can make it move and also how the headpiece affects the way you move. You might even come up with some choreography based on your headpiece. I hope you enjoyed the making process today. Have fun collecting materials and creating new designs. I look forward to seeing your headpieces. Bye.